Hello everyone! Today we're going to take a look at what is going to be the best artifact set for Yenfei. Is it going to be Crimson Witch? Is it going to be Wanderer set? Or is it going to be Belai? Let's not waste any time and get started. So today's uh, video is going to be a bit of a different format than usual. I'm going to try this out and see how it works. Okay, so we are going to be starting with a level 80 Ascended Yenfei right here. And then we also have these talents right here. Now some things to know about the talents. Number one, it's a three auto attack cycle of damage, which means that this is going to be the first auto attack, second auto attack, and third auto attack combined. So this is just one cycle of damage. The second thing is that right here, for the charge damage, this is 221%. So these are level eight talents. What you want to be aware of for the charge damage is, here, let me get a screenshot right here. Here we go. So for the charge attack, notice that there's five numbers. You have 145, 170, 196, and 221 and 247. What this corresponds to is actually how many seals you have. This 145 is for zero seals. The 170 is for one seal, two seal, three seal. Now the thing is 247%, it is not possible to get four seal. The only way this one is possible is if you have a C6 Yenfei. So these are for a C0 Yenfei. 221% is going to be the highest. And that's what we're going to be using because that's how I feel like you should be using Yenfei. 247% is if you have a C6 Yenfei. So this is for a C0 Yenfei. This one is for a C60 Yenfei. So now going on from that, we have your skill damage 221 and then burst damage 292. So nothing different about that. We have a crit damage build right here. And this one is going to be Crimson Witch, at least for this one right here. Let me delete this. You don't need this anymore. And then we have your Hilichurl's resistance that are provided right here. So for this one, we are going to be doing Solar Pearl. Solar Pearl is going to be the main weapon we're going to be using. This one, I didn't do with this just to make it more consistent because with this... With Sith has three different kind of buffs. So we're going to make it more consistent with just Solar Pearl and just see how it differs from here. Now you can have different substats. You could have different main stats from these artifacts. However, we're just going to see how the main artifacts themselves change the damage right here. Right here, we have your averages dam average damage that is provided. This one is average that what for your crit damage and normal damage already provided right there. And then you got your vapes and then you got your melts. And this is already including the elemental mastery bonus right here it says 15 percent what you have to notice for crimson witch and i don't understand why people keep not mentioning this this 15 percent is very very good a lot of people do not realize this 50 percent is extremely good we're going to take a look at why when we're comparing wanderer set later on let's take a look at this crimson witch is a 15 percent for two piece for pyro damage and the 7.5 percent for pyro damage it's we're just going to have one because it's a max of three stacks however yen phase e only activates once i believe so what you're going to have is you're going to have 22.5 percent extra pyro damage People just stop there. The 15% of the vaporize and melt damage is insane. Now, why is this insane? Well, we can't really take a look at how good Crimson Witch is until we compare it with something else. Let's take a look at Wanderer Set. And Wanderer Set is right here. So, right here we have Wanderer Set. So, the thing is that this is a two piece elemental mastery and it's a 15% right here. Notice that this is the same as the four piece Crimson Witch. What you have to notice is that I'm going to give each of them 220 Elemental Mastery. So this one is going to be 300, okay? Now, that's 49% Elemental Mastery. This one is going to be 220, which would make sense because this has that Elemental Mastery of 80, right? So if I do 220, it should be less, right? Why is this higher? 52.75% versus the 49%. Hopefully, some of you are wondering about, wait, how is the equation represented? This is the elemental mastery equation that is given, at least from the wiki that I provided. You can check in the description how it is provided. Crimson Witches increases vaporize and melt damage by 15%. How this works is that whatever your elemental mastery is, you add 15% on that. When the more elemental mastery you have, you have diminishing returns, which is why this Crimson Witch is extremely broken because this is automatically just going to be adding 15 percent there is no such thing as a diminishing return um, except for the elemental master you're adding beforehand crimson witch is going to be good even compared to the wanderer set 80 of elemental mastery versus your crimson witch which gives you an automatic 15 percent right here due to diminishing returns 
that is something you all need to realize that 15% is a lot better than you think it is. We're going to go back to Wanderer's set. We're going to control Z this. There we go, 80. So the thing is that the Elemental Master, the two piece, okay, we got 80 right there. So there's that Elemental Master that is given. And then this four piece charge, this is the second thing we have to realize. Increases charge attack damage by 35% if the character uses a catalyst or bow. A lot of you, I have assumed, is thinking like, oh, okay, whatever this is, you multiply by 1.35 or 35% of that. That is not true. Increased charge attack damage. You are going to be looking at this right here. Charge attack right here. You're increasing this by... 35%. Actually, let's do this. So that's going to change this one right here. So 7,525.73. Now compare that to Crimson Witch. I'll actually take a screenshot so it's easier for us to take a look. This is Crimson Witch right here. Well, this one is Wanderers. I totally forgot what this word was. <laughs> now, you might say that, okay, wait, but right here, we see that charge attack is a bit higher than charge attack right here for Crimson Witch. And then you also see that for Vape and also for Melt as well. But the thing is, you also have to take a look at Auto Attack, Skill, and then the Burst as well. They're all significantly worse than Crimson Witch. So the thing is that Crimson Witch, I do believe, is going to be better than Wanderer's Troop. Now, let's take a look at Belide because Belide has a pretty good set as well, which is increasing the 40% normal and charge attack damage when protected by a shield. So let's take a look at this. So what this is going to be is that two pieces are pretty useless for DPS wise. You're just going to be increasing your shield strength. The 40% it is going to be increasing right here. It's the same logic that applies. So plus 40 right here and then plus 40 right here. So how this is going to be like 7,253 7, and the 7,649. Now let's take a comparison look between the other two that we were taking a look at. Here we go. Okay, so this one is Wanderers and then this one is Crim, Crimson. I spelled Crimson wrong. None of you saw that. Okay, so taking a look at this, now we can take a look at and compare all three of them right here. One of the things you do have to be aware of is that, okay, Blind is going to give you the highest charge attack out of all of them, right? 7,649 versus these two. And then it has a pretty high normal attack as well. But the thing is that it has no element of mastery. Therefore, it is going to be the worst out of all of them. You see that it's 10k versus the 11k and the 12k. So it is going to be pretty bad for elemental mastery and elemental reaction. However, I feel like for Yenfei, she's going to be doing extremely well if you use her with Singsha or someone. I'm not sure of someone who can do a good melt composition maybe maybe kaya or diona or someone like that but for sure singsha would do really well for vape and i i'm not sure at the moment for melts but i'm sure that you all can find someone pretty well now based on the data that is given right here my opinion is crimson witch is going to be the best for yenfei once again that 15 percent is a additional multiplier so it's additive. It's not going to have diminishing returns. The diminishing returns is only going to be occurring on the element of mastery that is given, such as Wanderer's two-piece two set. So there is going to be more consistency there. Now, the second thing is that Crimson Witch is going to be better because you have the pyro damage multiply right here. The 22.5% additional pyro right there because that is going to be adding on. That's one of the strongest multiplier that is going to be given. You can sort of assume that it's a 22.5% damage on her. It's because of normal and the charge attack and the pyro attack, they're actually adding on to the same multiplier. If it makes sense, we're gonna take a look right here. If you take a look at our auto attack, it's this category right here. So this is actually where all your normal charge attack or all your elemental pyro damage is going to be included they're actually all in the same category but the thing that you do also want to realize is that the pyro is also increasing her skill and her burst they're not the main tools of her kit however they do boost those as well and then also remember it also has it included elemental mastery at the 15 percent. so crimson which is going to be the best i just effed up my equation oh no so crimson witch is going to be the best one for sure so this one is number one or the second spot i honestly can't tell 
I'm not sure if Wanderer set is going to be better or Belize is going to be better because Wanderer is definitely going to be better because of those elemental reactions. However, Belize is going to be better because of your normals. Like, so just your normal reactions. But I believe that is up to you. Regardless of what it is, I would just usually care about the number one spot, which is Crimson Witch, because these two are a bit difficult to get. Let's categorize it so it makes more sense. Crimson Witch, I believe, is the, sec is the best. Wanderer set and Belize it's up to you i don't know which one is going to be better than which it depends on the situation i hope this was helpful for all of you leave a like if it did and hopefully i will see you all in the next video